Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to strive for success and tips for motivation and how to get motivated. So if you want to see what I've got to say, then just continue to watch. My name is Juliet. I am a mom of two boys and I do three videos a week, one on beauty or fashion, one around the home and lifestyle and one advice video of your choice. Today I'm going to be talking about how to stay motivated, how to get motivation and also how to strive for success. There is a lot of things out there that you can do. What I wanted to try and do is break it down for you. So the first few tips are physical things that you can do to keep you motivated and stay motivated. The other part of this video, I'm gonna be talking about more of the psychological things that you can do to stay motivated. So firstly, let's start with the physical ones. So number one is make your bed. It's actually statistically proven that successful people make their bed every morning. This is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, a tidy home is a tidy mind. Second of all, if you make the bed, you can't get back into it. The second thing is to get dressed and get ready for the day. I made a pact from September when my eldest little boy started school that I would get up and do my hair, do my makeup and get dressed every morning before I went on the school run. And it has made me feel so much better. When I go out, not only do I feel more confident, but when I get back from the school run, I am ready for the day. So I could actually go somewhere straight away or I could come back and I don't want to just sit down. I want to start getting things done. So that is really helping me. Thirdly, is a bit of a mixture of vitamins, water and diet. So a lot of people break these up into separate ones, but really it's all about what you're putting into your body. I really struggle with my iron. I dip in and out of anemia quite a lot, but lately I've been trying to take Floridix that is really helping me. I think it's really important to go somewhere like a health store. We've got Holland and Barrett by here. Or maybe have a word with your GP about what supplements they think you should take. Multivitamins are really helping me feel better. I definitely feel more awake in the morning and more awake on an evening. Now with your diet, my diet isn't the greatest. I do try to eat more fruit and vegetables. So every time I'm craving something sweeter, I try to head for the fruit bowl before my chocolate box do try and drink two liters of water a day i bought myself like a hydrate mate and also like a big gallon um water thing and i fill that up every morning i try and make sure that i get almost all of that drunk in the day if i can if you feel hydrated it helps your skin and it makes you feel a lot better and the final physical thing is make lists plan and schedule things so i use the calendar in my phone and i also use a little notebook planner that i write to do lists in and every evening before i go to bed i brain dump writing down everything that i've got on my mind into this planner i also prioritize three things to do the next day so that means when i wake up in the morning i've got three things that i need to get done and by doing those i feel better and not only that i'm not sitting there on my sofa at two o'clock in the afternoon thinking what have i done with my day I tend to sit there sometimes and think i have so much to do but I don't know where to start. If I just do those three things on the list, it's something that's achievable. But whilst we're on that, I am now gonna move on to some of the psychological things that help you stay motivated. This one is my favorite that I have learned about and it is called chunking. It's breaking big goals into small tasks. You get more willpower and it increases your confidence with those small wins. So an example of this might be, say you are losing weight and you have got four stone to lose. Four stone can seem such a big goal and also it can be very daunting you need a lot of willpower to get to that point but by chunking what you mentally think is maybe just to get into the next stone bracket maybe like two pounds so you could think to yourself i'm gonna get under 12 stone and then when you get under 12 stone you've accomplished something your confidence grows you think i can do this so making big goals into small tasks really helps make things more achievable and it really will increase your motivation to get to your goal going on from that is confidence so confidence is massive with motivation because if you don't believe you can do something and you've got no willpower you aren't really going to feel motivated so by believing you can accomplish something 
definitely, definitely makes you feel more motivated. The next one is change your environment. And I mean this in a couple of ways. Firstly, try and tidy up the spaces around you. I cannot emphasize enough how depressed and down I can feel when my house is a mess. And I'm not saying that every room has to be spotless, Trust me, I've got two children. My house is never spotless. Since I did the decluttering of my bedroom, which I did on YouTube, I've made a conscious effort to keep my bedroom spotless. On a night, no matter how messy the house is, when I go to bed, my bedroom is really clean and really tidy, and I sleep so much better by doing that. The second thing I mean by change the environment is get out of the house. I have really struggled getting out the house and I think Leo starting school has really helped combat that problem that I've had but I know that I am not alone. I used to stay in my pyjamas most of the time. I never even used to get dressed. So I know what it's like to want to stay inside all the time but I do feel that getting out of the house and changing the environment does really help me. One thing that I do try and do is when I've dropped Lee off at the school run, I try to go somewhere instead of going straight home. Getting out of the house with two children is the hardest part, I think. So once you are out, I do try and go somewhere. Even if it is just popping into an odd shop here and there, it just, when I get home, I feel like I've accomplished something. It helps me feel motivated in my day that I've done something. Another really important one is visualization. Surround yourself with pictures and photos of things that you want to achieve. If it's your a dream car or your dream house or a dream holiday, Put up those pictures around you and visualize yourself with those things. And it does really help motivate you because it makes you believe that they are achievable. Also surround yourself with successful and like-minded people, people you aspire to be. I think you were definitely driven by the people that you surround yourself with. So it's really important to have positive people around you to help you with your motivation. Finally, Follow and listen to inspiring and motivating people. So I know Gary V is massive at the moment. He's an inspirational speaker. People like Will Smith do a lot of motivational speeches on YouTube, whether it's podcasts or YouTube videos or just watching your favorite people on Instagram stories. Anywhere that you listen to really motivating people, it really helps you feel motivated yourself. I know this is a lot of information, but I wanted to talk about the physical side of things and the psychological side of things because I feel you need both sides of things to really feel motivated. I do think that you can do all the physical things but if you're not psychologically feeling motivated, you're not gonna feel motivated. I think you need both things to help you. So those are my ways to stay motivated and strive for success. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it as always. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. If you did like this video, don't don't forget to give it a thumbs up and until the next video I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye!